The question I'm most often asked is, which bike should I choose? Well, that depends on a lot of things. First, you have to ask yourself what your goals in BMX are. Do you want to become a hotshot racer? A freestyle king? Or do you want an all-purpose bike that not only looks great, but rides great as well? Next, you have to ask yourself, or your dad, how much money you have to spend on your BMX bike. As a rule, the more seriously you take the sport, the more expensive your bike has to be. To the untrained eye, BMX bikes look pretty much alike. Yet a real top-line racer can cost up to four times as much as a look-alike. Why? Let's go to the workshop and have a closer look. In BMX, cost is directly related to weight. The lighter the bike, the more expensive it is. A lighter bike helps you go faster and hopefully win more races. The secret is in the material, construction methods and components used. Ace bikes use thin-walled, top-quality tubing like chrome molly, which is lighter yet stronger than the heavy-gauge steel used on cheaper models. Light alloys are also used to construct components like wheel rims, chain wheel sets and sealed bearing hubs. This gives them strength and durability and leaves you with less weight to lug about. Now take a look at the welding, another area that separates the racers from the rest. This mongoose is heliart welded, which is about the best way to do it. Notice that there's plenty of overlap at the seams, a sign of maximum strength and that this scoop can really take it. In BMX, you don't have to worry about the size of your bike because the handlebars and seats are adjustable. As you grow into your standard, you simply adjust their heights to suit you. And it must be stressed that you don't have to rush out and buy the top of the range bike. Only make sure it's track certified and that you buy it from a recognized, reputable dealer. Maintaining your bike is very important. You can't win a race on a bike that's not fit for racing. Besides, you.